Hey, good morning. So I'm back with another one. I filmed the, the screens, the MOP, the control screens. The MOP means main operating panel. That's like the human and machinery interface. I'm showing you the MOP in the CCR, in the ECR. So you can see how the gas system works and what does it look like during an operation. Near the engine, you don't know anything what's happening. There are, near the gas block, you see a few, a few solenoids flickering on and off, but besides that, nothing. So when you come to the control room, you can read the parameters, you can see the, the gas channel pressure going up, going down, and in, in relation to the position of the piston of each particular unit. So let's see how that is. Until then, let me have my morning tea. The mug by Ship Hospitality Services. And I'm just going down to monitor, to monitor the parameters. Uh, I'll show you the screens of the gas, of the MOPs and everything. Let's go down to the engine room. We are in the engine room. So this is my first MOP screen, MOP A. You can see the light color is the gas index. The dark color is the fuel index. The total index is about 67. So I have maybe 55 and eight or nine of the gas. Dual fuel running. This is the MOPB. I just set this to the gas, to the dual fuel screen. Second fuel screen. You can see the gas comes in at 380 bar, goes into the gas valve train, then comes from there into the double wall pipes into the engine. This is the gas block for each particular cylinder. Right now it's just showing as cylinder one, but each cylinder has a gas block. And here, this is uh, your ECS. The computer where I see all my PMI pressures. I have a special screen for the gas. This shows me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven units, and I can zoom into two units uh, that I want to. So the red curve that we see, red curve is your uh, pressure curve inside the cylinder. The yellow curve is your gas channel pressure. As the gas, the window valve opens, gas injection starts, pressure drops. Immediately it shuts and the pressure starts rising again. This part is called as your sensor reset. Again, we can go to the Cocos. The Cocos, uh, this is my line recorder. So you can see the blue index, that's the fuel index, and the red one is the gas. This is each time I had a couple of trips, trips again, and now here. The, the gas index has gone up all the way, the fuel index has come down to minimum. When I take my cursor there, I can see the value is about 57, 58 and the fuel index is about 5 or 7. So that's it for today. We put in a lot of efforts, got the engine running on gas and this is the other screen that we have. The same screen is there also in the CCR. The fuel from the cargo tanks getting recirculated or it comes with this valve via the filters to the FGSS inlet drum. From there to the inlet valve of the PVUs, the pump vaporizing units. They are the cryogenic pumps that pressurize ethane from 81 degrees, negative uh, 81 degrees, 6 bar to 385 bar. But this is still in the liquid form. It's vaporized in the vaporizer by glycol, heated by glycol, and then it goes to the gas valve train and then to the engine. This here is the flow rate. Right now what we see, I'm going to switch the screen to the engine room mimics and I can see the main engine fuel system. Oh, here I see the main engine fuel system. Okay, so this is the main engine and generator fuel consumption combined. That's about 800 liters per hour. I have two generators running, so that consumption is about 600 liters. So 250 liters by the main engine only. Another thing I forgot to share with you is the pilot oil profile. That's on the MOP in the engine room. Pilot oil is the fuel that's used to inject and create the explosion and only after that is when the gas is injected. So pilot oil profile tells you how much fuel I need to add, the fuel oil or diesel oil, and then the additional amount will be covered by the gas. I'm in the CCR, so this is the MOP in the CCR. As you can see, this is the PVU that we see, the cryogenic pump number one, two or three, whatever you want. So the hydraulic oil at the hot end and this side, moving up and down, reciprocating motion. This is coming from the fuel gas supply system suction minus 81 discharging minus 64 suction at 6.5 discharging 385 bar this is your inlet to the vaporizer vaporizer glycol is coming in and heating it out the ethane comes out as gas at 47 degrees then it goes through your gvt the gas valve train and then to the main engine via the double wall pipes look at other screens here your pvu the other day we had recorded it and watched it 
when the system was not running, so we couldn't see any parameters. Hydraulic oil entering in 264 bar. This is the spring oil 37 bar that's acting here. The seal pressure nitrogen here, nitrogen sealing here. The cold end, the stroke counter for the pumps. It's the glycol water system, the screen of the glycol water system. SHPS is the second fuel hydraulic pressurized system. You have three pumps swash plate angle pumps, electric motor driven. The first angle is at 58, 59, two are sufficient to run at this load of the engine, giving us 264. This is the checklist that all these parameters must be met before the gas can be injected into the engine or before we prepare the engine as well. I recommend that this part of the video, please pause it and read all the green ticks. Unless all the green ticks are fulfilled, we cannot go onto gas. I mean, we cannot even initiate the standby process. So please pause and read all the things there. Like I mentioned earlier, so once you're down at the engine, you cannot tell whether the engine is running on gas or she's just on purely fuel. So that what you see there is the gas block. And now coming up on the the same level the gas block with all these small pipes that's going to each giv gas injection valve that's a gas injection valve what you see right there mounted just like your fuel valve three gas injection valves per cylinder this is the gas block the small pipes going to the gas valves i'll explain that in my next videos that are that i will make that's it for now so gas engines and me over and out do like share and subscribe